Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be making a Halloween themed um, pen pal letter and I'm going to be sending it to Danielle because she sent me this lovely pumpkin card. I thought it was so adorable and I loved it. So the first thing I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be um, decorating the envelope because I thought it would be a great idea to figure out what colour palette and what theme I wanted to run throughout the letter. I thought I would use these adorable cats but I might not use them on the envelope cover just because I didn't think they were quite all to me Halloween. I wanted to, to pick some colors that were really bright and vibrant and I thought this was a great um, piece of paper that I could cut up and use the front of the envelope. So I'm really loving the oranges and obviously the blacks also suit the Halloween theme. Um, and there's also a great purple in there that I match up later with um, some of my other stationery. So I'm just cutting it down and I'm just rearranging everything to figure out what I'm actually going to put on the front. Now I got some really cool things from Daiso. So Daiso is the Japanese um, dollar shop and in Australia everything's $2.80. So they always have some really good cheap stationery and um, they also have things that are seasonal so they always update their stationery um, to match what season or holiday is coming up and I knew that they would have some Halloween themed stationery and I'm also going to go back and grab some Christmas um, stuff as well. So I've used my little sticker girl and I use little sticker girls throughout and I picked girls that kind of looked a bit autumn-y. They have jackets on or they're wearing orange or darker autumn colours. Um, and I also got some really cool washi tape from Daiso, so it's all these pumpkins, and I use that throughout the envelope as well. I'm also using stamps from my Etsy store, so I'm selling um, vintage and global stamps on my Etsy store if you wanted to go check them out. I'll put the link in the description box below. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create like a little pack for um, the person I'm sending this to and I wanted to put it into this Ziploc bag and this is a Ziploc bag with a patterned background and a clear front so you can see through and it has a really cool background. So I also got this from Daiso and majority of the things I'm actually putting in this little pack is from Daiso. So the first thing I'm going to do is I wrapped up a few of these, um, they're sort of like um, tags you put on the front of presents. Um, so I thought they were really cool and I just put a black paper clip because I thought that matched the theme perfectly. The next thing I'm doing is I'm just going to make a little washi um, sample and I wanted to put these pumpkins in because I thought she would love the pumpkins since I fell in love with them as well. So I'm just wrapping that up on a orange tag that I'm pretty sure was sent to me from a pen pal. And on the top I'm just washing, writing washi tape. Um, I don't know why I need to make a statement. I, she obviously knows it's what she tapes, but um, I think it's cute when you write little um, notes and things throughout the letter as well. So the next thing I'm doing is I'm just going to be putting in some um, paper cutouts if she wanted to do a little bit of scrapbooking later. And I'm also including the stickers that I bought from Daiso as well. So the, th the stickers are gold, blacks, there's oranges as well, and there's white ones as well. So I thought they had really cool stickers, um, and I really, really love the pumpkin ones. So I'm just putting that in a little baggie, and I don't actually buy these little baggies. I usually save these from, like, stickers that I've got, um, or anything with packaging. Pretty much anything that has clear packaging I save. Um, and now I'm just going to be putting them all into this um, Ziploc bag, and I'm also reusing these cats because I thought they're adorable. Cats are sort of Halloweeny, and there was a nice orange and black cat there, so I thought they were perfect for this little pack. So now I'm just popping them all in the bag. And one thing I did realize after is that the bag is actually bigger than my envelope, so I'm gonna have to just like sticky tape a little bit of the side down later in order to get it in. So now the next thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be just be making a little thing, um, like a little package sort of for my letter. I wanted to make it really sturdy so I've cut out the front of a Frankie magazine just so it has a really sturdy um, cardboard back. And I've also got this pocket and I've covered the pocket in old um, vintage paper just so to give it a bit more texture. And I also wanted to make my girl sticker stand out a bit more. Um, I'm also including an envelope and it's sort of like a flip open envelope so it's just sort of like another little element to it that makes it a bit more interesting um, and I've put washi tape in order to, for you to flip that envelope back and forth 
and I've also popped some Halloween stickers all around as well. So in that little envelope I've also put some more paper, some stickers and I've also put an autumn leaf I got from Japan and some washi samples. Um, and then I've put a few bit, little bits, a um, few more stamps in there because I wanted to add a few of my Etsy stamps in there as well because I just love um, the different types of stamps I've got. And then I'm just sealing it up with washi tape, a little strip cut off that I cut off um, a piece of paper previously. And then I'm just wrapping it all up in some white um, I, piece of, I think it's wool. And then I'm just adding these buttons on the top to make it a bit more decorative. And I saw this, I think, on Instagram. Someone else did it. And it looked really cool. And I love that they've decorated the top of their um, snail mail with buttons. So I've got a whole jar of buttons now on my desk ready to decorate my pen pal letters. Just because I thought it's such a cool textural way um, just to tie up my letters. And I really, really love the button effect. And that's it. So I've done a little package for my letter. I've also done a little goodies bag. And then obviously I've also decorated the envelope to make it very autumn-y slash Halloween-y. Um, I really like these colours together. So basically the whole colour palette is orange, blacks, and then a little bit of purple. And then I've decorated with my girl stickers and lots of different stationery throughout. So the last thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to package it up and I'm going to put a wax seal on and I got this little wax seal from AliExpress and that's the final product I thought that's worked out very well so thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next week bye